So for my birthday, I got an NVMe drive that's uh, 500 gigs. And prior to that, I've been using this drive, which is a SATA uh, SSD that's 250 gigs. And I thought, well, I want to upgrade the storage because my drive was getting full and uh, and I'll upgrade to an NVMe. And there's one thing, though, is I'm using a fourth gen Intel CPU and then correspondingly my motherboard's older. So there's no NVMe slot. So I bought an NVMe adapter because I do have a PCIe X4 slot. And so that allows me to have the full NVMe speed. However, the motherboard is older and the software, well, I updated the software, but that didn't make a difference. Uh, and so the motherboard is older. And so it, the firmware actually does not read uh, the NVMe. So it doesn't know it's there, but the Linux kernel does. So, uh, you know, when I go to the boot menu in my BIOS, it shows no NVMe, but of course here, I've got my Debian, uh, 11 install here. And the kernel of course recognizes the NVMe, as you see here, uh, after running the LS BLK command LS block. Uh, so it is visible by the Linux kernel, which means that, uh, I need to put the bootloader on a drive that my motherboard can recognize. And so I could put it on this. Well, let's back up a little bit. I've got legacy boot, legacy boot. I don't have uh, uh, UEFI boot, it's legacy boot. Um, and so, but the issue is this is not an MS dot per, MS DOS partition layout. It is a GPT partition layout. So I don't feel like copying all this data to somewhere else and then putting MS DOS, I mean, MS DOS partition layout on it and then copying the data back to be able to make that my bootloader. So what I'm doing for now is I'm just going to use a flash drive and using this 14 gig flash drive and I'm going to put my bootloader on it and then just leave this drive alone for the moment. You know, maybe later I'll put the bootloader on that to just have two disks instead of three. Uh, but um, yeah, and so right now I've got my old hard drive booted via USB, USB, and that's what this is right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the bootloader and the boot partition on this drive, which is the flash drive, and then uh, that'll load up the kernel and that'll make it where it sees this drive, which I want to be my main drive. And then this is a, a storage drive up here. That's a SATA drive. So let's get started. First off, I've got my flash drive here and I'm gonna need to do device, create partition table, MS-DOS. So make sure I'm doing the right thing. 15 gig flash drive, MS-DOS. So there we go. Apply that. Now we create an ext4 partition. So that is good. Click apply, apply. And let that do its thing for a second. All done, C completed operation. So that's successfully completed and I'm done. I just use gparted because that's easier instead of doing the command line. Uh, and so let's close out gparted and I'm gonna move myself over to the first tag close out this next step. So I created that with MS-DOS and the XD4 par partition. And so now I'm going to mount my NVMe in my uh, flash drive, which will be the boot partition on my NVMe. So I'm in the mount directory. Let's zoom in a little bit. So let's mount the NVMe. Mount dev NVMe zero uh, N one P two NVMe zero N one P two. And that's the main one. So we want to mount that to NVMe that's done. And now I do boot to the other one P one. No, 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 no. We don't do that. Dev SDC. Why do I have four gigs? Hmm. Okay, I don't know why that is, but I know my main partition is on N1P2. All right, so uh, now we want to mount our boot part, our boot drive that's going to be the boot partition. So that's SDC. You see here, this is only 15 gigs. 
So do that. Airball mounting invalid argument. Oh. There we go. So we go back up. SDC1. That was silly. There we go. So now that's mounted. And now what we want to do is I'm going to CD into NVMe and I'm going to move, uh, or I'm going to copy boot to boot dot back cp-r because it's a directory. Make sure you don't proceed this with a slash because that would be your booted system. There we go. So that booted. Now I'm going to go into my boot directory and we see um, the, the, current, the Linux image stuff. And now I'm going to move this. Let's see. I don't think there are hidden files, but no hidden files. MV asterisk wildcard, right? Move it up a directory. And then in upper direct, let's see, upper directory, upper directory, the NVMe boot. So this is our flash drive. NVMe boot is the flash drive. So I'm moving the contents of this directory here. So do that. And then there's nothing left. So it's just an boot is just an empty directory at this point. Now, what is next on our to-do list? Now let's unmount the flash drive. Uh, go up another one. U mount NVMe boot. Why is it taking so long? There it goes. Uh, now let's go back into the NVMe, which is my main partition, Vi Ets FS tab. All right, so there we go. Let's edit our FS tab so it mounts our boot directory. Um, let's go ahead and do let's see defaults the XT4 boot now we have to update the UUID and what is the UUID so let's do pseudo block ID Ooh, that's not very legible is it Let's do that again. So we go to S, where is it? SDC1. And we'll go with the UUID. SDC1. CDF. SDC1, SDB1. Oh, I don't have it mounted, so it wouldn't be up showing up on DF. It's SDC1. It's not SDB, it's not SDA. SDB is what I have currently. So SDC, it's our flash drive. So there we go. Copy that. Um, swap those. There's our UUID. Let's double check, make sure I didn't do something silly because it's important. SDC1, it's the one that ends in... What did I just copy? Oh, I know what I did wrong. Undo. There we go. All right. 3CF fins in 55C1. So now we. Um, that's all scrunched there together. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. All right. XT4 default 00. zero. I might change those FS tab settings later, so make sure you research about that and what you want to do with your FS tab. Now let's chroot into the NVMe. Go back up a directory. Uh, my enter key is double entering sometimes. I need to get the air can and clean up under there, so that's why I'm hitting it. You see it going down twice. So now to chroot into the NVMe drive, let's find our last for loop for dev and this is the currently uh, booted system here proc sys run these are all of our virtual directories sudo uh, we don't need to do sudo because i'm in and this is the uh 
So we go NVMe. That's what I named this uh, mounted directory. Let's go ahead and close out this other, as you can see. All right, for I in all these virtual directories, mount um, the B flag, mount each one of these, mount it to NVMe, to the NVMe that's already mounted. So we'll do that. So now we just need to root in. And yeah, just to root NVMe. To root into the NVMe. And now we can do uh, DF. And we can see here uh, the NVMe. We are in that system. So we just to root it in. Now we need to mount our flash drive. So to boot to the boot directory. So if we current look currently at boot, there's going to be nothing there. Man, it keeps double entering. Uh, so now we need to mount it. So this is going to be mount dev sdc1. Now I don't need to tell it where because it's already in my fs tab. There it goes. So now let's look at the boot directory. It's got all my stuff in there. All right, so now we need to install Grub. Um, so we do Grub install, not dev SDD. Uh, let's do else block one more time. So we uh, S. Uh, we'll we'll do grub install to dev sdc grub install dev sdc installation finished no error reported that's always happy uh, now we'll update grub. And all set. Now I can uh, remove this uh, SSD that I currently have connected via USB. I have a SATA adapter, SATA USB adapter, and I sh and I can uh, boot into the NVMe, and it should work out fine. But you know, I don't know everything, and so that's what my hope is. But we'll see. So thankfully it did work. Uh, I did, well, the first, it started to boot, it recognized I knew it was working, but I forgot to comment out a line on my ETS FS tab. But also it's a, a USB 2 flash drive. So initially there, it's pretty slow. So uh, this thing auto boots anyway, so it probably won't be a big deal, but I don't know, I might put it on a USB 3 flash drive or get one of the SATA SSDs and just put it on it. So we'll see, or I'll put it on the, uh, this big drive here. Um, yeah, and I realized uh, what that four gig partition was. It's my swap partition. I just drew a blank on that earlier in the video. And one thing that I had failed to mention is that the, my NVMe was a clone of that SATA SSD, the previous SATA SSD that was used. It was a smaller uh, drive, and so I just used a DD to clone it, and then I expanded the file system in Gparted. So I'm very happy to have my new hard drive in place.